Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Um, as always, first things first, I hope that you are blessed and highly favored. Um, I hope that you are having a good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time that you are watching this video. I hope that you are having an amazing day. Um, also, make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notifications so that you don't miss a video. So, today this video is um kind of piggybacking off of the sunday school lesson that we just had this past week so um we've been talking about freedom to worship but this specific specific topic last week was support for needed projects now i'm not gonna go through this and whatnot but basically we talked about the rebuilding of the temple in jerusalem and that really had some good nuggets in it for me because I feel like out of that lesson, I got, you know, thoughts about restoration and how God will um, supply all your needs when you have asked him for something or when you have a project going or you're trying to do something and you really have no idea how it's going to happen. God will use people that you never expect to make sure that your project happens. Like, in this, actually... We actually started talking about this last week when we talked about King Cyrus making the decree um, after these people left exile for them to go and to make this temple to rebuild it and whatnot. And basically how they, he was like, you know, y'all don't have to have, y'all don't have to worry about anything. He made sure that they didn't have to worry about anything as far as rebuilding the temple or whatnot. And King Darius basically came back years later and did and reinforced it because the it, it wasn't finished by the time he became king but he reinforced that very thing that king cyrus even brought upon and so again these people did not have to want for anything they the the temple was going to be built and to make it relevant to us today um or i guess for me is that I feel like I have started some projects that I kind of stopped doing. Um, but he already gave me the vision. He had already told me, like, you're going to be good. You're going to, like, I'm going to make sure that you have everything that you need. And I kind of needed to hear that because I had went back to start some projects that I originally left off from. And he's been making a way out of no way. I've been blessed in many different ways or from different people that I never really thought that I would be. Um, or I can't say I thought it because I didn't know where it was coming from. I just had to trust that God knew exactly what I needed um, for these projects that I have going right now. And so I just wanted to come on here and kind of like reiterate that and kind of tell y'all like it's possible for God to start making um moves in your life that you wouldn't have expected like if he gave you this vision all you have to do is take the first step and he'll he'll make sure you get through the rest um and I feel like I'm really in the part in my life where I'm like taking stuff day by day like I see my big picture I see the vision of what I want but I have to really focus on what can I do today that's going to make a difference or get me one step closer to my big picture I feel like sometimes we spend a lot of time thinking about the big picture and we have overwhelmed ourselves because it's like it's such a big it's a big picture. Instead of us taking this step by step, like, what can I do today to to get myself towards that? So if you have a, the vision of being a multi-million dollar business or a billion dollar business or whatever, what can you do today? Like, you, if, even, if, even if it's something as simple as, like, asking God, Lord, what is the name of my business going to be? That's a step towards your end goal. And you can literally break down stuff in that form. And I just wanted to to tell that testimony because literally I have started, um, even with this, this YouTube channel thing, I have, like, I've had this idea for so long. And it's really crazy because maybe like two years ago, I actually created the, the, the channel portion, but then I didn't do anything else. Actually, it's probably been longer than that because... 
I actually had this idea in my first marriage and that's been um like three almost four years ago now at this point and so i actually created like the graphics for it and all of that stuff which is funny now because i did this and then i became so overwhelmed with it so i kind of just threw it to the back burn then in mom um, as i was getting my master's we had to create channels and make a video and so i did that and I was like, oh, okay, God, like, maybe you're bringing this back around to me or whatnot. But I still, still stopped, you know, being scared, being overwhelmed by the bigger picture or whatnot. Just to fast forward to this year where I have rebuilt what I, like, originally started doing, obviously, because, like, when I started, I was in a different headspace. And now I have a completely different headspace. And he's been just putting ideas in my head and putting things in my head about things that I could do today or things that I could do um, today because that's all we can focus on is is today. Um, and so each day I ask him, okay, so Lord, what else do you want me to do? What am I supposed to do? Not even just with just this YouTube ch channel, but in things I have going um, in my life as far as like my husband has a barbecue business now and that's been something that my husband has talked about a lot and God has just been putting things in place for us and we have taken been taking it day by day so this sunday school lesson was really it really hit home for me because um they even talked about uh the restoration of the the gold and silver that was um taken from these people when they went into exile like these people all their treasures were taken from them and god also restored that so not only did he give them the means to make or rebuild the temple and without having to worry anything but he also restored some things that was lost so with that being said i was like you know what lord thank you thank you for confirmation thank you for uh, bringing this back to me or bringing this around full circle so that i can see what you are doing and increase my faith just a little bit more so I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope that if you have something going on in your life or if you had a vision that you kind of just stopped doing, I hope that this video will help you go back to that and to know that God will make a way out of no way. You just have to take those first steps. Um, so again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn your notifications on so that you don't miss a video. And until next time, peace.